In this video, we're going to look at configuring our 10 seam wall plates with a Quick U system. You can either connect up to 40 10 seam wall plates directly to the Quick U rack across its four 10 seam ports, 10 of them per port, or you can connect them to a Quick U console via our Snakesys gateway interface. The gateway interface has two 10 seam ports, 10 of wall plates per port, up to 20 wall plates connected. You can also connect the gateway interface to the rack if you need more 10 seam wall plates. The Quick U rack runs the same software as our Quick U consoles. It's just our rack mountable installation version but doesn't have the faders and the screen on it. The Quick U rack runs the same software, so it means I can take shows from a, I've programmed on a Quick U console, load onto the rack, or maybe a show I've pre programmed using the free Quick U designer software and load that onto my rack as well. I've got myself a couple of wall plates here. We showed you how to wire them in one of our other videos, and I've already plugged in one of them to my rack. The other one I've got wired up to my 10 scene connector here already, and I simply push that into the 10 scene port on the back of the rack. You'll see the LEDs flash red and blue, a dual color LEDs to show you the status of the item on that button. And once it's connected, the LEDs will come on to show me that wall plate is connected to my system. Your 10 scene wall plates can either control playbacks or executes in QuickQ. So I've got a show that I pre-made and you can see in the visualizer here, and I've got it laid out on my home screen. I've connected my 10 scene wall plates. To enable them, I go to the menu, I go to 10 scene, and in the 10 scene window, you have four tabs. You have a 10 scene wall plate panel, you have contact events, you have your gateway view where you can see connected gateway interfaces, and then you have the settings of your 10 scenes. So first off, I'm gonna enable the rack sockets. That turns on the rack sockets for my wall plates, then on the left, I have the option of what my wall plates are controlling. At the moment, I've set them to control playbacks, and I've pre-recorded 10 playbacks or a few playbacks uh, on my show file, and you can see them labeled at the bottom of the screen. On the wall plates now, we now see playbacks 1 to 10. So on playback number 9, I've got my sight lights in blue, which as I press, they come on, turn it off, and number 8 is my sight lights in magenta, and you'll see all of the wall plates and the rack buttons have the same function. They're all doing the same thing. So you can have different entrances to a room, a wall plate by each entrance, and you can come on and turn your lights on and off by each entrance, and the buttons on the other stations of the rack auto update to show you the current status of things on your rack. If I turn off the playback here, the other option you've got is 10 scene controls execute. So if I toggle that one on, my 10 scene wall plates are now controlling from my execute window. If you've not used the execute window before in QuickQ, you, you go to the menu item at the top of the window, you select execute and this takes me to my execute window. Again I've preset a few cues in here and you can record cues into the execute window just like you would playbacks. So I've got a few cues recorded and I've set my 10 scene wall plates to control these cues. So item number four is again my sight lights this time in yellow, then number five my sight lights in magenta and number six them in blue. You'll notice here that the items are linked, they've got this little chain between them which shows a link between them and when they're linked, you can only have one active when it's next to each other at a time. So this is great for things like different colors, whereas playbacks, you're simply turning a playback on and off. You can now solo these items. So I can say number four in yellow, number five magenta, and you can see it deselects or releases the item next to it. To set up this link, you simply go to the action menu, click on the item you want to link, and press the chain icon at the top, and that then links the item together. So they're now linked. I've done the same with my house lights. I've got two different levels, house lights on at full, and then dim the house lights down on the other button. You can also use a gateway and connect that to our rack. To set up your gateway, you go back to the 10 scene window and you enable gateways over here. So I've got myself a gateway which is connected to my rack uh, via network and the wall plate connected via the front of it and wired up. And you can now see this has come to life and the buttons on the front have the same function as my 10 scene wall plates connected directly to the rack. So I can toggle on and off lighting states via my gateway wall plates connected this way. We also have the 10 scene app, which is a free iOS, Android, Mac or Windows app, which just gives you access to these 10 10 scene buttons. It doesn't give you access to any of the programming behind the scenes. To enable that, you simply hit the enable 10 scene app button and then you hit your Wi-Fi button here. There's Wi-Fi inbuilt on Quick U consoles and the Quick U rack. On your phone, once you've installed the app, you scan that QR code and you now have access to those 10 scenes as well. You don't have any access to any of the programming 
or configuration behind the scenes. So the 10 scene app is ideal for a fixed venue where maybe you want to give someone in that venue control of a lighting, but not access to reprogram your lighting. In the next video, we're going to look at how we can take this even further and look at the concept of zoning with our 10 scene wall plates.